contains, first of all, a database. So it's it's got a database of your roads. Right? Oh, the involvement, each, each. And what loads, all these things. It, 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 it has a whole lot of roads that in in your um, province, or province district, yeah. that, that have been loaded. And for each of those roads, it has a lot of information. So it has information, for each road it has information on the condition, uh, of, the condition of the road, the traffic on the road, um, the, um, the, the structure yeah. of, 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 underneath it, um, the, the pre previous um, interventions on the road, or, or the, 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 the last previous maintenance that was done on the road. So it's, it has, so it has a, we'll have a look at it, but there's, there's a whole, so there's a whole lot of data that, and that's a big deal setting it up, right? It's quite important yes. when, when you, when you, when you originally set it up is, is getting all that data in. It's very data hungry, is, is HDM. Oh, yeah. Now, <coughs> when you, when you've been learning, when you've been using it, a while you you get to find out that some of the data makes no difference whatsoever so so you don't really worry about whether you've got it right or not but um, but other bits of data are, uh, can, can, can be quite critical so the roughness for example is, is critical the IRI all right that that drives things and the traffic drives things yeah. so the amount of heavy traffic in particular yeah. drives things so those you got to get those two things right Okay, um, then the, the other things which it has in, in there are, uh, are nice to have, and they make a little bit of difference, right? What? What? The, the, the other the other information that you have, you have information, for example, on the the, the geography, for example. So, so yeah. some of some of the roads will will be um, uh, will have lots of rises and falls. Mm -hmm. um, or, or gradients, other and or, or they're windy, and that of course that all those things affect the costs. In the end, the the, the two things that that, the, that this program does is it looks at the user cost on this side, and it looks at the cost to the agency on that side. And 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 the whole thing, the whole economics of the thing is about maximising the amount of user benefit mm. you get for each dollar or rupee of, <laughs> of um, expenditure that the agency does so it's, so it's just it's balancing those two things mm. right okay um, so um, so yeah so the first so, so it, it the first thing it has is this database data Right. So we should have a database. Yeah, and you've got that. You've, you've yeah. got that in there, um, but that's something that some some consultant has done for you at some stage, and it, and it's something that you should be when you're familiar with it. You should be sitting down and and, and just checking through. It's easy easy to do. Just check, check, last checking time we through that that the, the, that all the roads are being dis are described correctly, the right width. The yeah. right shoulders, the right rise and fall, and so. Mm -hmm. um, so um, then, with that, then it also has a has data about vehicles, the sort of vehicles that use the road, right? And um, I think in here there are twelve or thirteen vehicle types, right? Yeah. And so each of those vehicle types has characteristics. Now, again, the user cost depends on the information, depends on getting that information right, okay? Because the user cost includes fuel, it includes maintenance and so forth. So you, you need to have the, 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 the database of the, the user's vehicles um, in, in there. So those are the two, those are the two basic data that you have. The next one down is in there is the maintenance is, what's it called? Uh, work standards, right? Now the work standards are the things that you can do, 
right? As an agency, what, what can you do? So you can maintain the road, you can do overlays, um, surface dressing, those sorts of things. You can do a complete reconstruction of the road and so forth. So, you, so there are a number of things that you can do. Uh, in my terms, you know, interventions, there are things that you could be, you could, you could do. And what HDM do, has, it, it has two basic models that are in here. One is is a deterioration model, a road deterioration model, model, and that that just that basically says that if you don't do anything with this road, this is how it will deteriorate over the next so many years, right? So, so serviceability that's, index. That's that's it's that, that it's count it's counts the number of potholes, it counts the number of edge breaks, it, yeah. it, count, it counts the rutting, etc. But all those things, what, based on what, what on the traffic, it says this is this is what is going to happen to this road over, over time, right? Yeah. And then when you've described your works, things like applying some, um, an overlay or something or other, that when you describe that, it says this is what it, this is how you will improve the road, right? So you have the road; it gradually declines and it, it, it get, gradually gets worse and worse and worse. And then you do something, and it's and it's improved, and then it will gradually decline again. Okay. So, so, so that's that's a, the key part of of HDM four. One one key component is the deterioration model how the road will react to the traffic and how the roads will react to you doing something to it, to, to making an improvement, okay? Yep. So you've got a deterioration model. And the other major model that you have in there is a vehicle operating cost model. The vehicle operating cost model says, if you've got a road in this condition, and you run these vehicles over it, what's the operating cost going to be for those vehicles? Right? And the, the operating cost depends on the on the condition of the road. Mostly on the roughness, but also on other things. And one of the key parts of the road operating cost model is actually the travel time. Because the, um, because if you take a truck operating cost, for example, the, the, the driver's wages, the capital cost of the truck, and so they all depend on how long it takes you to do the job, right? So one of the biggest benefits from doing an, a road improvement is actually making it, getting the traffic, doing the job quicker, and that means you, leave, you need less trucks um, to, to do the same job, less trucks, less drivers, and so forth. So, so you have a you have a vehicle operating cost. Um, so, so the two big, two main things like I said, you know, we're talking about the user costs, we're talking about the the um, the costs of the agency, and and then and the, the models which go with that sort of vehicle operating cost model, and you've got a road deterioration and, and effects model, right? So those those are the key things that are in there. So when you if, so, so when, when you use this, the first thing we do is we we set up our vehicle fleet, right? So we define the, the, the characteristics of the vehicle fleet. We, we, do, we define our road network, right? So the, so the cap current characteristics of the road network, define uh, work standards. standards. These are the previous histories of victims? No, no, these, these are what we're going to do. This is the, these, these, these are our interventions, what, what, what works we actually going to do. All right, and then the next step we actually do is we can either define projects, programs or strategies. Those, the, these, these are the actual analyses that we do. And there are, there are three types of analysis that, that, that you can do with the with HDM4. One one type of analysis is 
is a project analysis where we say, okay, our pro project in this case um, is we're going to um, recondition. Small road. We, 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 we get, we've got 11 roads and, yeah. we, and this is what we're going to do with them. Right? Oh, yeah. So that's a project. Right? And we define the project.